guys welcome back to crafting with Bella today's video will be a tutorial on a table centerpiece that you could use for a birthday party or a baby shower so let's get started so you're gonna need some crepe paper what I did was I cut my paper into six inches to make these fans right here so let me show you how I got that so all I did was I wrinkled the, the bottom like this. Okay. Like that. And we got ourselves a fan. So the next thing I did was I got my glue gun. And I just put a little bit of glue on the bottom to hold it down so I pressed it and again be careful because it gets hot so and then it, it stays in place so it won't open when you let go so I did 10 of these and the next step was to glue them onto a styrofoam plate so as you see I already have some here so you're gonna glue your your fans like how I have them there and you're gonna want to keep them um, not so close so when they open up they do touch each other but they're not you know like on top of each other so make sure that you press it down and then you open them and so you'll go ahead and do all of that all around it and I'll come back to show you what I did next Okay guys, so I'm done going on my my fans. Okay, like that's how it looks. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get I'm gonna be using this ribbon. It's like a giraffe print. So let me cut the edges. Okay, so let's go I'm gonna go ahead and glue my ribbon into my could use any ribbon that you want um, like I said I'm gonna be using this giraffe and we're gonna do it little by little because since the glue sinks into the it sucks it in the foam so it dries really fast so we'll do it little by little go ahead and and glue this and I'll come back okay guys so I'm done gluing my ribbon onto my styrofoam plate and what we're gonna do next is get a candle holder and glue it onto the foam so let me go ahead and do that. Put some glue around the rim. And we're gonna put it in the center. Okay, we're gonna press down. Make sure you press hard so it gets the like that. Okay, so next we're gonna need another one like that. So I already go. I went ahead and did mine to cut some time, and we're gonna glue this one on top of the candle holder. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you use a lot of glue, and make sure your seams are in the back. So let's go ahead and. Press it down and make sure that it's in the center. Grab it and press it. Okay. Should be done. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're 
it's glue and then what we're gonna do next is get another candle holder this is a plastic one and we're gonna glue this one in the center of the top one so let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna use this side like this on the bottom so let's go ahead and glue this put some glue on the rim Press it down. Okay. okay, so next I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this wooden monkey that I got at Michael's and a giraffe and a lion. And we're gonna go ahead and glue our giraffe on the bottom like that. So let me go ahead and do that. Get some glue and put some glue on the legs. press it hold it down for a couple seconds okay so the next step is to get our I'm gonna be using this which also has a zebra a lion an elephant and a monkey on top so I'm gonna glue that on top of our candle holder in the middle like that that's what I am I'm using this on the top instead of the bottom so it can fit right in the center Okay, so let me go ahead and glue that down. Okay. So we hold it like always, hold it down for a couple of seconds so I could get the glue. Okay, the next step is to get our tiger, I mean lion, and our monkey. And we're gonna We're gonna just punch him down. Okay. Let's see if I could adjust the camera so you guys can see. Okay, so we're gonna just put him behind our, our thing here. And I'm gonna first make a put pull him down and then I'm gonna take him out again. Well, okay guys, so after we Put these down, put glue on the bottom so they could be more stable. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna be using these little rocks and putting, I'm gonna glue them down just like that. So let me go ahead and do that. Just a couple of them so they could look like rocks. They're little pebbles or little stones. So just like that, a couple of them just scatter them around make sure you press them a little so they can stay too they should be good okay so let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back to show you what's next okay so after I'm done gluing my rocks down I'm gonna be using these cute felt tigers then I'm gonna be gluing them right here right around our around this the top one only so I'm gonna be gluing one in the center and then the rest I'm gonna be gluing them in between the our little fans so let me go ahead and glue this one to show you guys Like I said, I'm gonna do in, be in between our fans. Like that. Okay. And let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm all done gluing my tigers all around. And what I did next was glue some rocks just like I did on the top. And that's it, and I'm all done. There's the table centerpiece, the top part, the bottom. Okay, let me go a little bit 
back so you guys can see how it looks. There it is. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thanks for watching. Bye.